<laughs> it ran and idled. Bro, ran good. By itself. Ran good. Atta <laughs> boy. What is on? <laughs> Alright. Plan is go get the trailer on the truck. Hold this thing up Ooh, for tomorrow for like Turbo Mike. Yeah, but it hides all the goodness. Honestly, I think it looked badass with no hood. I wonder if you can run no, you have to be able to run no hood. At Lock City, because I saw people doing it. Freaking plastic will fly off. You got some black shit on your nose. Look at these battle scars. <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> My head butted the fucking door. Oh, oh, what's baby. under the cover? Looks so weird. A 2J350? Is that what that is? Look <laughs> <laughs> It's actually a VQ. Idiot. Wow. Alright, so get the trailer. Yep. Do you guys see a problem here? How the fuck did I do that, dude? How the fuck did I just do that? Did you ruin it? Did, did it rip off or did it just pop out? I don't know, it looks good. Oh, now we gotta pull this bitch in. Jack it up. Roll it back. Does the tire have to come off? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, you suck. Well, it doesn't have to come off. We can just press it down enough. Where'd they go in? Oh, the tire. On our way to, well, almost there, actually, to turbo mics. This thing's about to get tuned. All right, let's talk numbers. Mike said it's a, he thinks it's going to make around 420. To 450. To 450, you said? Yeah. On pump. I would say, I'm, I'm saying three. I don't want that three, much power. I'm saying 430, 435, I'm gonna say. 200. 200? Turbo delete. Turbo delete. Another so the fucking burning 14 tires of lap. Uh, event. Yeah. Just go NA for the day. This thing probably. 
probably makes a hundred and walks around with that in there. Nah. I wonder what this does make with no. Probably like two something. Anyways. Pretty exciting. Hear this thing rev out finally. Drive home should be fun. the fuel pump. Well, the CJ kit, the return line was just, I don't know, feeding right back into the... Feeding right back to the pump, which made no sense, so we just ended up cutting the return line, just dumping it into the tank itself, instead of bringing it to the actual housing, seeing if that'll work. We are getting way too much fuel pressure, like 70, yeah, was, 60, was 50. Doubling. Doubling yeah, like pressure. 40, so, swap that out. Shout out Turbo Mike. We're uh, seeing if we can further progress now. So we ended up making, safely, conservatively, 406 and 358 torque. A few minutes later. Don't really gotta be a rocket scientist to know something ain't going good. Um, car's back. Honestly, uh, could be a few things. At least drain the oil. Make sure that um, Jesus Christ. Make sure that there's no shavings in the oil. And if not, then we can go from there. 
check, uh, check, I don't know, see if it's any of the valves, if it's any of the rods, the bearings. Okay, so m one of my ideas was that, well, my theories is that one of the, the ports where the oil feeds from the crank um, was like clogged, but now that I'm looking at them, they're gigantic. So that'd be very difficult for something to clog it that bad where it's not getting any oil. Which leads me to think that it's not the bearing. Hopefully it's not. Um, now, it could also be a valve because these motors are interference motors, which means that the valves share the same space as a piston, and that would be a headache. So hopefully, it has something to do with the with the flywheel clutch, something with that assembly. Let's get to work. Well, pretty sure it's. Rods, so rod bearings. So enthusiastically, the motor's coming out again. Hopefully, for the last time. All right. Not in the mood. Okay, we'll cheer him up. Oh, I just zoomed. Who's <laughs> that? Hello? Are you good, Yeah. Oh, I see. 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 2 hours. Um, this is mine. Yep. Yeah. Here's, uh... Let me drop it down. I'm gonna like put it right here so we can work comfortably. Put it over here. Yeah. You know what degrees that is? Uh, Metric or standard? <laughs> what do you want to do? That's not standard. That's not standard. That's not actually. 82 degrees. It's metric. It's Nothing. Standard. Yo, look at this. What is all that? Fucking. Look at this, dude. Look at the top. It's like yeah. fucking dry. Nobody's home, dude. There's a lot going through it, but like... Barely. Hey. Something's fucked up over here. This... Make motor go... <laughs> bang. Here's the go over there. Yeah, we'll put it upside down. We literally just took oh, this off. To do this one. What the hell? Nothing. Style. Neutral drops. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking sucks, man. Good morning. So today's plan is well. Morning. <laughs> we gotta go pick up uh, another one Jay Z because this one's kind of toast. So the best option is to just get a 1J, 
about half the price of rebuilding this one. So you make it to the next event and then I can slowly send these out, get them repolished, maybe get new cams, repolish the crankshaft. And build a crazy machine. It's all strapped down, ready to go. Shout out to JDM Depot. Just made it to the house. We had to make a quick uh, pit stop. Grab a new jack and uh, another engine lift, or engine stand. One J on the new Pittsburgh stand on Chris. It's good stuff. All right, so the we're best. the best Pittsburgh. Hop a fake baby. <laughs> so we're gonna strip this completely down. Plan is to put all these parts onto this motor, and then obviously the valve covers and stuff like that. Make it look exactly how it was, and uh, throw it onto the car. Come on, get up. You get to work. Me? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> well, unfortunately, the f camera stopped working for whatever reason. Um, <laughs> well, I got pretty far, I'm not gonna lie. I did the water pump, all the gear obviously timing, retimed it, threw every old piece back on, um, along with the valve covers all sealed up, intake is good. Kinda fuck myself, cause I have to cap, I gotta cap this thing. That's the uh, nipple for the, uh, to cool down the throttle body. Um, that's just gotta get capped. I welded it on this one but it's a pressed fitting, so I can't just throw it on there. Everything else, I mean, is pretty much good to go. I have to flush out the turbo before I throw it on here. Um, and then the only thing left, really, other than putting the turbo on, is uh, getting the oil pan swapped out, which I don't really have to do. I definitely have to um, at least do the lower oil pan because it's a little bent and shit. The garage is a mess. <laughs> Jay-Z parts everywhere. The type of oil. Okay. Silver oil. We call it silver back. <laughs> hold, it, hold on, refocus that. God damn. We found gold. Crank this, get some uh, oil pressure flowing through the turbo, or motor itself, and try and start it up. And hopefully, we don't hear any knocking. Hmm. Oil
All right, welcome back. It's day three from getting the motor. It's in the car, everything's good. Um, I do have a small leak on the turbo and I also heard that the, the bearing for the turbo is pretty loud. Um, I'm assuming that shit got fucked up too. But everything else is put together. Um, I just went and picked up some coolant. Uh, I'm gonna top it off, bleed it, and then honestly, should be good. It's the best thing fucking invented. All right, take number two. We're going uh, back to turbo mics. Blowing up the engine. Blowing up. Second one. Blowing up motor number two. Hopefully not. Why the brake lines? You gotta pull the brake up all the way. Pull the Ford, you gotta there put you your go. foot under it while you pull it up. <laughs> so uh, we're heading there now. Hopefully everything goes good. I got oil, coolant, a few tools just in case, but fingers crossed. everything light up in flames and I thought that the whole car blew up it was such a loud bang Like, comment. See how this thing drifts and uh, subscribe, asshole. 